All right, so now I need to start to think about needs and wants, okay? Or, or more to the point, what is the need or problem recognition that takes place for my potential consumer or customer? Okay, so let's talk about well, what is an actual need. Now, a need is the difference between what I perceive to be the ideal version versus the actual state. In other words, um, you know, in a, in a perfect world, you know, I need to be fed. Um, and, you know, and if it's the case of I'm not, and the actual is not that, and I'm hungry, then what I'm trying to do is get back to understanding, well, how do I feel that need? Okay, so your needs are the things that you actually require. Right? And, and we're looking there at the difference between, well, what do I need? Right? So what is it that you know, is gonna fulfill me or make sure that I get back to an idealized situation um, and I've got what I need? Cool, um, there could be a gap, I might be able to, you know, I might be looking to do something, um, I don't have the right tools for it, um, so that difference between the reality and what I want, that's where the need comes in. Okay, so consumers, they're gonna recognize needs and problems and seek to fulfill them, okay? So they want to solve that problem. So my need actually becomes a bit of a problem to be solved. Okay, I want to be listening to music right now. I'm not listening to music right now. How am I gonna solve that problem? Well, okay, have you got a tape player? Great, I can do that. You don't have that? Well, we need to have the next conversation then. All right, so really what we're trying to do as a bunch of marketers or a bunch of business service providers is to start to understand, well, how do we find out what those needs are? Um, how do we develop product or marketing programs to reach those people more effectively and put what we're providing in the face of those people? So what it really becomes is, we know they've got an itch, how do we find out what they need to scratch it? Okay, so the need and want. So really what people start to look at is they start to look at, well, I have a problem. Okay, so they know in their head it's about memory. Okay, so they think about, well, you know, their memory, they've got a whole bunch of things they know, they've been in this situation before, they then find they have a need or a problem. Okay, need or problem, okay. So they're thinking about, well, I recognize, I, you know, well, it's more about recognition. Okay, do they recognize they have that issue? Yeah, I recognize, okay, I, I'm struggling at something, I need help with it. Um, yeah, I probably need to talk to someone about that and find out how to fix it. Okay, and what's feeding into that and what's gonna shape that is the stuff we've already talked about a little bit before, which is about thinking about, well, their individual influence and the organizational influences that we can bring to bear. Okay, so there's this thing that, you know, they know they've seen something in the past, they understand stuff in memory, you know, I've been in this position before, there's various things that I have here, I've worked out that I have a need or a problem that needs to be fulfilled, I'm now using my memory um, or using you know, my thoughts to start thinking about, well, how have I dealt with that in the past? What's out there available? What are my beliefs and interest in how I'm gonna fix it? And, and start to look at how I'm gonna shore that up based on what I need. And what happens from there is the actual state becomes about, you know, I wanna move from my actual state, okay, down to my ideal state, okay? And what's happening there is, you know, the consumer's thinking, well, where am I? How do I bring all these things to bear? Okay, so where am I? The actual state, what I'm really experiencing. And then the ideal state, which is down here. Okay, you know, how, how do I recognize what that is? Where's that gonna come into? All right, so that's what we're really looking at there, okay? As opposed to the needs and wants. My daughter tells me she really needs an iPhone, but really she doesn't really need an iPhone. What she really needs is a way to communicate. She just wants it to be an iPhone, okay? because that's what's come in here, some of the shaping there, right? So there's a need, she needs to be able to communicate, absolutely 100%. Does it need to be that product? No. Where she's getting that product from is these combinations over here. So we wanna be the provider of choice for um, providing them what they actually need, okay? They need communications, but we want them to want our iPhone. Or, you know, they need food, we want them to want our pizza. They need a car because mobility has become a problem. Um, where the product they want because they've, idea, they've remembered that they're in a situation they need a solution for, they can't get around, but we wanna sell them our car that's gonna satisfy a whole bunch of those needs and wants. All right, so it's just a little bit of an explainer about how those things are gonna to fit together and start to think about, well, how can we influence, all right? And that's what this is all about. How are they making these decisions and how can I influence it? What is the need that our product satisfies and how can we make them see us as the potential solution 
when they get to a position like what what happened how did they know they had a mobility need was it because it was friday night and they couldn't get to a party they needed to get to um, you know at what point did they make that realization that the world is not the way they wanted it to be and they need a solution and how do we make sure we're tapping into that all right that's what all this is about really understanding what's going on and getting in front of them so we can provide them that solution all right needs wants we need you to want our products okay simple stuff all right, continue on with that. Start to think about it. Keep getting in the headspace of those people. Keep thinking about what's shaping those decisions. Um, keep thinking about shaping that memory and be that persistent thing, okay? You see the golden arches, it's yellow. You know I'm hungry. You know there's McDonald's. You know there's food, in you go. You walk past 30 other places selling food to go to that one, all right? Cool.